Good morning. Chapter 6 Recruiting. The current chapter is going to discuss recruiting definition, goals of recruiting, factors affecting recruiting, recruiting sources, internal and external, and finally, a global perspective to recruiting. Recruiting is aimed at bringing together companies with job vacancies to fill and those looking jobs. So, recruiting is aimed at achieving the following. First, providing information to attract a significant pool of qualified candidates. Second, promoting the organization to prospective applicants. Let me draw your attention to the main factors that affecting recruiting. These factors include organizational size, employment conditions in the area, effectiveness of past recruiting efforts, working conditions, salary and benefits offered, organizational growth and image, internal organizational policies, government policies, and finally recruiting costs. Recruiting sources. The main question is how recruiting takes place. Recruiting happens using the following internal and external sources. Internal searches, employee reference, external sources, and online and other alternative sources. Let us start with recruiting sources, internal searches. Many organizations develop their own entry level employees for higher positions. These promotions can occur through an internal search of current employees who have bid for certain jobs. Being identified through the organization's 
human resource, resource management system or even being referred by a fellow employee. Promoting from within has a set of advantages and disadvantages. The main advantages such as good public relations, moral building, encouragement of employees, knowledge of existing employee performance, Cost saving, candidates' knowledge of the organization, and finally, opportunity to develop mid and top level managers. On the other hand, the main disadvantages. possible inferiority of internal candidates in fighting and moral problems, and potential in breeding. Recruiting sources also internal, employee referrals, and this simply means that current employees can be asked to recommend recruits Such source of recruiting has also advantages and disadvantages as follow. The main advantages employees motivation to make a good recommendation. Availability of accurate job information. And finally, employee referrals tend to be more acceptable applicants. More likely to accept an offer having a higher survival rate. On the other hand, the main disadvantages for this source The possibility of friendship being confused with job performance. The potential for nuptism.
and the, finally the potential for adverse impact. Recruiting, recruiting sources external. External searches. Advertisements. Must decide type and the location of advertising. Depending on job, decide whether to focus on job description or job specification. Actually, there are three main factors influence the response rate. First, identification of the organization. Second, labor market conditions. Third, the degree to which specific requirements are listed. Also, recruiting sources external, external searches. Employment agencies that includes the following private employment agencies, management consulting firms, executive search firms. The first one, which is private employment agencies, provide more comprehensive services. And are perceived to offer positions and applicants of a higher caliber. The management consulting firms, research candidates for mid and upper level executive placement, executive search firms, Screening potential mid top level candidates. External searches includes also schools, colleges, and universities, job fairs, A 
attended by company recruiters seeking resumes and info from qualified candidates. Also, professional organizations. Publish rosters of vacancies. Run placement services at meetings. Control the supply of prospective applicants. And labor union are also in this category. Unsolicited applicants walk in may provide a stock bill of prospective applicants if there are no current openings. Online sources. Since most companies use the internet to recruit employees. Job seekers started using online resume and create web pages about their qualifications. Now let me draw your attention to recruiting alternatives. The first alternative is temporary help services. Temporary employees help organizations meet short-term fluctuations in human resource management needs. Employee leasing. Trained workers are employed by a leasing company which provides them to employers when needed for a flat fees. The third alternative is independent contractors. Are contacted to do specific work either on or off the company's premises. Now let us discuss a global perspective to recruiting. For some positions, the whole world is a relevant labor market. So, human resource professionals can recruit. In this case, there are three alternatives. The first one, 
home country nationals and this alternative is very effective when searching for someone with extensive company experience to launch or to introduce a product in a country where it has never sold before. The second alternative is host country nationals. And this is very effective when a foreign subsidiary is being established and headquarters want to retain control yet hire someone with local market knowledge. And the third alternative is candidates of any nationality. Creating a truly international perspective. Here there is some questions for discussion. Thank you.